Hey guys, it's Jessica and I'm going to be reviewing the e.l.f. Sunset Eye Prism Palette. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so there are six shades in here. I've been using this all week. Um, and so there's this light one, and then like a coral toned one, a bronzy gold one, I would call that one, a gold one, a brown pink one and then a this one that comes off as pretty pinky brown as well honestly so anyway here are the swatches these six right here are the dry swatches and then I swatched them wet right here so we got this one's wet this one and this one this one, this one, and this one. So if you use them wet, you're definitely going to get more like pigmentation with them. I don't know if I actually have used them wet this week, but I would recommend if you do use them wet, just to use them wet on the lids because I've had problems with the prism eyes before on it, like getting, if I put them in my crease wet, then my eyelid would go like stuck in a weird way. <laughs> anyway, um, so this I believe is, I believe is $10, and honestly with anything else, I don't like to pay full price for anything else, but, um, if you were to ask me, are the, is this palette worth $10, honestly I'd have to say no just because I feel like they could have added an, another color in here like because we got these two kind of brown looking shades they could have done not two brown shades they could have put it in a different color I don't know I I'm missing a color I don't know what color but I'm missing a color and I don't like that um, none of these are matte which is you know expected I don't think anybody expects this to be a matte palette, but it does lack a matte, and it's not really a big deal. I mean, you can see this eye look. I didn't use any matte shades. I just used this palette, so um, you really lacking a matte shade is not a huge deal because they do have these darker colors in here that also, when hit light the light differently, looks like it could be a matte so that's pretty cool and yeah overall I don't personally think I would pay ten dollars for this particular palette but I do think these are really really great shadows I think that they're really pigmented the other thing I have to say about pigmentation though is there's a dry finger swatch there and let me just do a brush swatch and you'll see so there's a brush swatch you can barely see it so if you're going to expect the same amount of pigmentation that you're swatching with these you are in a dreamland because it's not gonna happen um, <laughs> just that right here is three going over it three times so I mean you can build it up but it's not going to be bam that pigmented unless you use your fingers to apply them which is my preferred method to use this palette but I do wish that a brush would work just as well it's just it's not it's not going to um, so that's another reason why I don't think it's worth ten dollars just you know the payoff is really great when you swatch it with your finger but then when you swatch it with a brush where did it go where did it go we don't know we don't know where it went it's gone so yeah <laughs> um, overall I like this palette and I like the colors in it but I wouldn't pay ten dollars for it I think I got this for five dollars actually maybe a little bit over five dollars and maybe I'm wrong and this is a five dollar palette then okay I think I would pay five dollars for it but I got it for forty percent off regardless of how much it was <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I know it was short, but yeah. Um, so you're going to be seeing tutorials uploaded throughout the day uh, just because I have...
filmed them. I just haven't uploaded or edited and uploaded them um, throughout the week. So I think you're going to get three, including the one that's in this video today. So hopefully you enjoy those. And yeah, the next palette we're going to be playing with is the um, Makeup Forever Midnight Glow Palette, which looks like this. So you'll be seeing a tutorial using this palette tomorrow and I'm excited about using this palette. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this I think. So that is it for this uh, review. If you would like to see the tutorial then stay tuned. Otherwise thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Alright guys, so we're going to start with the Lorac Behind the Scenes Primer and we're going to prime both lids. Then we're going to take this, like, magenta E color, <laughs> which comes off as a purple brown on the lids. Um, and we're going to put it in the crease on both eyes. And it's just going to be the crease shade. <laughs> Alright. I really, really like this color, by the way. I think it's a great color. Okay, so now we're going to take the dark brown in here and we're going to put it on the outer corner of the eye um, just to help make the eye look really pop more. I don't know. It's just a really nice neutral eye and I just wanted it to make my eye color pop. Next, I'm going to be taking the white and I'm going to be applying it to my lid with my finger. And um, these shadows um, apply best using your fingers. They're just the most pigmented when you use your fingers. And yeah, <laughs> I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to use it as my brow bone highlight. And this is just going to bring everything in the look together and make it all work well and everything. Next is the butterfly, or no sorry, next is the Italia Deluxe Eyeliner in the shade Light Brown. And I went ahead and I lined my whole entire eye with this, except for the inner corner area. But other than that, I lined my entire eye with the Italia Liner. Next, I'm just going to be curling my lashes with the e.l.f. Eyelash Curler. Um, you guys know I love this eyelash curler. <laughs> and now I'm going to be putting on the Butterfly Mascara which this mascara is okay, it can get clumpy, which is a bummer and pretty unfortunate, but here's me applying it. Hopefully it looks good. And then lastly, I'm going to be applying the Rimmel Wonder Lash Mascara. This is just because this is waterproof, and I don't think I got the Butterfly Mascara in waterproof, so I wanted to make sure I had something on my, on my lashes that was waterproof. And that is all for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I will surely, surely, surely see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out the links below. Bye, guys.